They may have heard of network radio. It's abbreviated as NR typically when you see it online. Uh, and network radio at its core is really radio over IP, radio over internet protocol or radio over the internet. Um, and my question to you is, have we seen this uh, before? And the answer is yes. Uh, things that come to mind, easily come to mind, that you're all familiar with are Echolink and Allstar and the others that are listed here. So it's not necessarily new, or is it? Network radio in this specific sense uh, really means radio over the mobile internet, so 3G, 4G, and LTE, uh, and then using Wi-Fi when you're uh, located somewhere that has Wi-Fi, but predominantly over mobile internet. Uh, so what do you need? to get started in this. Well, the good news is, if you have a computer, an iPhone, or an Android phone, you can get started right now. Uh, if you want to upgrade, you can get uh, what I'll call bona fide network radio hardware. You can get an, an HT uh, or a mobile. The mobiles are kind of neat. They're, uh, they're like half-depth, headless. I call them sort of, uh, or sorry, head-only. Uh, it's only a couple inches by a couple inches, uh, and they look good. I have some pictures in a minute, I'll show you. And then you have uh, a new emerging trend, which uh, I'm labeling at the moment multi-mode network radio, and this includes DMR Tier 2, UHF, in some cases VHF, network radio, and a phone. So what do you need to know about the future? Well, there is an intense flurry of activity in in network radio. Network radio is hot at the moment. Things are changing very rapidly. New systems, channels, and groups are being created weekly. The network radio hardware is quickly advancing and getting even more useful and featureful. And likely by the time you watch this, the presentation will already be out of date. Let me give you a quick demo of DMR versus network radio. Let's make sure my volume's up here. And I recorded this just a few moments ago. This is an audio test for DMR versus network radio. Uh, first is a DMR radio, you know, Motorola radio, using the Brandmeister Parrot. NV0N, testing one, two, three. NV0N, testing one, two, three. Hey, okay. that's pretty good audio. Now let's try it on network radio. NV0N testing, one, two, three. NV0N testing, one, two, three. As you can see, the audio quality is significantly better on network radio. And that's simply because there is more bandwidth available for your voice on network radio. So that about does it. That's a quick demo. If you have any questions, again, oh my goodness.